what is good, J.I. Squad? I'm back to you again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Roll these windows up, because you know, Vader just be talking out of pocket. Bro, just be going crazy. But anyway, um, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, man, today is a video that I thought I wouldn't be making so soon, honestly. Especially after modifying this modification I thought that I would you know what I'm saying love it and stay true to it but it's definitely it's definitely time to go so without further ado let's go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get straight into this banger yeah what's up with it do it cause I love it and I stuck with it we in with the sub and in the cut with it please none of the talks I heard enough of it like what you gon' do, where you at, who you with, you ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it Really on the move, on the map, never slip, keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it Real eyes, real lies, real lies, all the time stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day, now we on road, came from Alright you guys, so basically, as you guys heard at the beginning of this video, I am selling my LT2 intake manifold off of Vader, my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. Now, if you guys have been in the loops with all the videos and been tuning in, staying up to date, and you guys already know, recently I had the LT2 intake manifold ported by my guy Louie, and I also had my stock throttle body ported as well. Then after that, we went over to Fort Worth, Texas, and linked up with my guys over at NRG, and we got the car retuned. Now. With the retune, unfortunately, we lost about 30 to 35 horsepower on E85. I don't understand it, you know what I'm saying? It is confusing, I don't know. You know, normally, typically when you port an intake manifold, you're supposed to gain horsepower, not lose it. But in my case, we lost it, it is what it is. So that brings us to where we are now. Selling the intake manifold, and possibly the throttle body. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the throttle body has been ported out to a 95 millimeter throttle body. So it is bigger now, but it is still the stock throttle body. I've been debating on if I want to go with uh, some of the bigger brands, K-Tech, um, and a couple others, but I'm not 100% sure what route I want to go with yet. But yes, I am selling the LT2 intake manifold with the CA engine cover. As you guys saw, man, I really wanted to keep this setup on the car and switch to the carbon fiber version of the CA intake uh, manifold cover to match you know, the rest of the carbon that's on the car. But at the end of the day, we want this car to go fast. We want power. And we wanna add things onto this car that is gonna build on the power that the car already has. So therefore, since the car lost power, I just simply can't justify keeping it on the car. You know what I'm saying? Since it's hindering the car, why would I keep it on there when I can go with something else and make it better? Now that being said, J.I., what are you replacing the LT2 with? That's a great question. You do know what I'm saying? So right now, man, there are two options. Um, I can either go Holly High Ram, which I know all of you guys have seen, on uh, multiple Camaros, multiple Corvettes. It is a well-known brand when it comes to intake manifolds. Or I could go BTR Trinity mid-rise intake manifold. Now, the only reason why, there's two main reasons why I'm heavily considering going with the BTR over the Holly. The first reason is solely because of my carbon fiber hood. As you guys know, when you run a Holly high ram, you have to cut a hole in the hood to allow the hood to latch and close and clear the Holly. So with that being said, carbon fiber, I don't know if I wanna cut that. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm the type of person that has to have everything like on point 
with the build as you guys have seen over the years if you've been following the channel for a while like everything has to be straight all the edges have to line up perfectly like if not it'll bother me and it'll bug me and I'll just be thinking about that every time I look at my car and every time I get in my car so that being said if I were to run a Holly I would have to have somebody who's like well known in the industry about cutting carbon fiber to make sure that the cuts are precise and that they line up perfectly and the holly fits perfectly because if not i can't do it i'm just gonna keep it a buck now the second thing is i'm actually going to be running the btr cam as i told you guys so it's just like the cam and the intake manifold made by the same company kind of i don't know it's not that big of a deal but it would be dope and it would be nice to have the intake manifold and the cam come from the same company that way there's not any issues or anything when it comes to tuning and getting the most out of the cam or getting the most out of the intake manifold because it's made by the same company so that being said those are my two reasons as to why i'm considering going btr trinity now my other reason as to why i even considered going holly in the first place is simply because the holly is goaded you know what i'm saying the holly is known everybody knows you run a holly you're gonna make power you're not gonna have any issues especially with a heads cam setup everything will be smooth majority of the tuners know how to tune with the holly now that's where my dilemma kind of comes in is I like to be unique, I like to be different. I don't like to, you know what I'm saying, be in a crowd and blend in with the crowd. You know what I mean? I like to be different, like I said. So my cars are all unique, they're all different, they're all built to a scale that no one else has built their car to. When I'm very meticulous when it goes to picking car parts, when it goes to installing the car parts, all of that like everything plays a role from the smallest thing like it literally everything plays a role with me and my builds so that being said i really would rather go btr just solely because nobody else is running that as it's not as common but that's where the issue lies when i run parts on my car that are not commonly ran on everybody else's car or in the car space when it comes to tuning or doing those fine things it's gonna be very difficult to get everything or to find somebody that can actually tune or can actually you know what I'm saying work on what it is that you brought because it'll be new to them and just like it's new to you and so it's like you can't ask for the same results as a different car has that has a different part on it you know what I'm saying I hope that's making sense I hope the power washer in the back is not too loud and you guys can hear me but that's just kind of where I'm at thought process wise when it goes to swapping out the intake Manny I'm not sure which one exactly I want to go with y'all let me know down in the comment section down below I actually got a buddy who's running the BTR intake manifold he's having no issues and he's actually going to be boosting that car which makes it even better for me because again <laughs> the btr intake manifold is boost friendly and y'all already know vader is about to get boosted like we're gonna boost this car for sure so it's just like i don't know man i don't know my head is torn but i do know for sure one thing i know for sure is i'm selling the intake manifold so if you're interested Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Hit me up on any of the socials. My Instagram pops up right there. My TikTok pops up right there. I'm not going to lie. I would urge you to hit up the Instagram solely because for some odd reason, TikTok does not send me notifications. I don't know why. Like, I literally got to open up the app to see what's new. So, with all that being said, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're interested in the intake manifold and the engine cover and possibly the throttle body let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up we'll talk pricing discuss if i need to ship it or if you can pick it up we can link up at a mutual location um, a public location of course and get the sale done but y'all let me know in the comment section down below but with all that being said that's going to wrap it up for today's video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below and give this video a big thumbs up for this startup right here. You did.
mean, who's ready to hear this thing chop? I know I am, and it's coming in the very, very, very near future. So y'all just stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's been your boy, J.I. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.